Ooh. Well, this is another episode of Van Cook Meals. Have my lovely guest. Get you long. Yeah. So. 205. Drip, drip, drip. <laughs> what's 205? That's Birmingham area you go. Oh. 305. That's Miami. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Right, yeah. right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, today was a stressful day already. As far as the cooking. I, I can't even call it stressful. I really don't know what the fuck I made. I know we was talking about it last night. And I was like, all right, I'm going to make this. I, I didn't know what the fuck to make. So I pretty much just made shit. Just mixed up a lot of stuff. I have no clue how it tastes. I don't even know what to call it. And uh, <laughs> so, you know, it happens, oh, man. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Maybe it's great. Maybe it's not. But it's here. Well, I well I better be ready to. You know. Yeah. So today we're having. I guess it would be garlic sesame noodles. Oh. I mean, technically that's what it is. It sounds good. It's. It looks like a mess, but it's noodles and garlic, sesame oil, and and, and shrimp, and uh, sautéed vegetables. A lot of shit in it, but uh, yeah, I made it. So when we get back, that's what we're having today. We're having garlic sesame noodles. And we're back. So I got a meal for you. Here's your utensil. Okay. Okay. I like I like that you uh you have gotten way more creative because I like that you did like a restaurant like Oh well, you know. How you rolled well, my, Yeah, you gotta have your neck. Never had rolled plastic so well. well you know we do it up. So that's here's your dish of of, of shit. Okay. I shouldn't call it shit. That's a bad cook show. You make something okay. call it shit. Just gotta it I mean, it's not as bad as I like an anticipated. Why'd you expect something so bad? Probably I because I because you said it was terrible. shit. <laughs> you said it was shit. It just and looks like a mess. You know what it is? I got these noodles from the Japanese store, and they were like coated in flour, and I was like, oh, I don't know why. It's, you know when you go to ramen place, mm -hmm. and they got all those noodles rolled up, uh -huh. and starch or flour or something and then they put them in the water that's just difficult to keep them from being all sticky i don't know i don't know man i just bought the shit and then the shrimp is like it's just shrimp i got from mexicans shrimp i got from mexican so we eat mexican noodle stir fry you know what else i got sesame seeds i'm gonna put sesame seeds on mine sesame seeds no, I, I'm, I'm cool on sesame seeds. I'm cool on that. Let's go one step at a time for me. Yeah, I don't even know what it tastes like yet. And I just put some extra shit on there. Wait, wait. Can we bless the food? Oh, by all means. Go for it. Okay. Oh, I thought you were going to say it out loud. <laughs> no. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Because, Ryan, I'm fascinated by this shit. I really am. Come I on. sit up and watch the fucking videos all the time. Let's see. Oh, this is shit. Tastes like nothing. All right, I'm gonna doctor this right now. Okay, it ain't bad or good. How am I gonna fix this? I'll fix mine first. Got garlic salt. <laughs> garlic salt. I think I can do some garlic salt. Well, you, I'll let you do it. I might fucking give you high blood pressure. Okay. Yeah, you kill yourself. All right. Oh. Uh -uh. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's see. Let's see if garlic salt. I'm works. gonna put regular salt and pepper on mine. 
Regular salt and pepper too? Maybe not regular salt. Not yet at least. Okay. Yeah, it helped a little bit. However. Okay, let me see the pepper too. Oh, okay, pepper. I haven't even tried it yet. I'm gonna try everything you try. I'm down here. for the ride. Let's see here. The pepper ain't even coming out for me <laughs> like it was coming out for you. Let me see. You gotta flip it to the poor side. You don't have it open. I did. I do have it open. Let's see. Wait, don't. Okay, I'm gonna say it fucking dump out and then you be eating eating pepper featuring noodles. Well, can the shit get any worse? I mean, it could. It could taste like actual shit. It could. How is. Okay. Oh, okay. I don't know how you have dry noodles. How can I. You need soy sauce. Soy sauce? Soy sauce. Soy sauce? You want soy sauce? That's what I set this out. It's soy sauce. Be right back. <laughs> I gotta be honest, y'all. This shit ain't as bad as I thought. You know, when I first saw Ron doing this shit, I was like, huh? All right. He I bet. just put salt on mine. I, I mean, but you know what? Fuck it. I'll try it first. Hey, um, I got a question. Mean? How come yours got more egg in, my, in yours than mine? I mean, I can give you the whole fucking bowl. It's back there. I just dumped it on here. I just, I mean, I just want to know, you know, the equal distribution. Now, let's see if this, if I was right. Let's see if my, if my spidey senses is right when it comes to this taste. All right. Yep. Did it work? That's a drip. Let's see. That's a drip. Let's see. Oh, it tastes like Chinese food now. <laughs> well, see ya. This is a meal cooked by myself and Miss Petra. Who knew? I knew. This is a very interesting episode. I cooked shit and we made it palatable. I think it's pretty good right now. I do too. I think we did a good job. Yeah. Collectively. So, Ryan, tell me. Tell me. Mm -hmm. How did you end up learning to be so innovative in a van? When I was living in here, I had to cook. And one day I just recorded it. I think it's be cracking up. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the thing about it is, they time. are. But I just recorded it. They want to get in on the fun. That's what it is. Whatever. <laughs> they try to, they, they see the camera. They like, let me get in on this shit. Well, who cares? Who gives a shit? But I uh, I just recorded it, and then it was just like, well, let me have somebody in. Uh, you know, you ever seen Mukbang? Mm -mm. I think Mukbang is Korean for eat show. It's where, like, people go on YouTube or get in front of a camera, and they just eat food. Oh, and people just like watch them eat. Be, be, lo be, lo lo be loved. Maybe sure. Is that a person? Or? Yeah, the black lady who eat the food. Sure. She, Does she eat like a lot of seafood often? Yeah. Time? Okay, I know her. I didn't know that was her name. Yeah. Yeah, she does mukbang videos. I didn't know that was the term for it. Okay. I might be saying it Educate wrong. Educate me. But yeah, so this show is like mukbang meets like a tasty video meets like a podcast. You know, so that's how it came about. And plus, this is all I got. I can't record nowhere else. I can't, I can't record in my room. It's fucking small as shit. You'd be, it ain't but two places to be in my room. The bed or the desk. So you're either working or you sleeping. Or sleeping. That's it. Yeah, guys, guys, guys are so gorilla with it, though. I'm just guys. poor. I don't think that's a guy thing. I think it's a poor person thing. That's where y'all get y'all innovativeness from. Poverty. Yeah, well, what do girls get their innovativeness from? Hungry, I think. We be hungry. We, Instead of we, we, we get hungry, you we get what? real. I think I'm going to sell some pussy. <laughs> I think. I think it's I think it's come to that point. I am going to sell. I need rent paid. Wow. I guess. I mean, more power to you. What'd you so what you say? You be like, uh, I'm going to pay your rent, but you can come get in this van with me. Well, I mean, there's been some people in here. Who cares? I, I know I heard. I heard. What you hear? You ain't I hear heard. shit. What did you hear? What are you talking about? You told me. I ain't tell you shit. You told me. 
What did I tell you? I don't we know what you're talking about. about it. I said, no, I don't know what you're talking about. River oh, no, okay. No, wait, no, I'm serious. I don't know what you're talking no. about. By all means, no. tell, tell me. I have no, no clue. No, we talked about it. We talked about it a while ago. And uh, you was like... Uh, I used to drink a lot, so I don't know. Okay. Stop drinking. I was like, so what you do? You'd be like, girl, you come back over to my bed. Maybe. Come I don't know. <laughs> oh, I thought I told you who or something. Like, I'm oh, I, even if you told me who, I wouldn't name names. This, but, I, can't, I can't keep... I wouldn't remember, so you'd have to tell me. I can't keep badge or dick count on people. I can't. I can't do that. Anyway. Well, hopefully, like you said, this is better than some of your dates. Have you had terrible date dating experiences? Hell yeah. Why? Oh my god. Why? I don't think I've ever had a bad date. Probably because I was the one facilitating it, but... Right. What's an example of a bad date you've been on? Oh my god. So... Um, oh, ooh, and I can't say his name because he used to be a celebrity. He um, used to be a celebrity? Yeah. How do you stop being a celebrity? Do you retire? The game retired him. Oh, I'm going to say, you <laughs> turn your celebrity? Yeah, I'm done for today. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm straight. No more celebrity for me. Is he dead? No. Oh. Wouldn't nobody That's kill That's a way to retire. Wouldn't nobody kill him. Oh, God. Worst day. He was much older. No, not much older. Well, he's older. He's older. Morgan Freeman. Ew. Yeah. Oh. He's dating his granddaughter. I can't do that. Oh, God. So, anyway, he, um, and at the time, he was pretty well to do. He was, he was living. He was living in the hills, mansion, like, nice house, nice place. If I guess, would you say so? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm not going to cut you off, but I'm a guess. I'm pretty good at these things. I bet you would never guess it. Oh, I would. Oh, you would. would. <laughs> Ooh, we'll be we'll on it. I got nothing. Worst day. Worst day. Worst day. Um, so, anyway, he came and picked me up, and he was like, oh, we got to make a few runs. We stopped by the phone store, and he was like, will you talk to them for me? Who oh, been he, talking to them for you before? He so, was auditioning for a wife. So, whatever. No, 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 no. Before that. Oh, shit. Yes. That's what it was the first time. I went to his house. He showed me his address. Because obviously he wanted me to know where he stayed at. And he wanted me to know his house was the shit. Drove up to the house. The door opened by itself. Oh, that's like, fancy. Just Yeah, just press the button and then the door opened. I go in. He's like, oh, I'm coming. Just make yourself at home. Oh, my God. What? what I did. I made myself at home. I was sitting on the couch. I was chilling. So, he had, like, a... Uh, a room, I guess, like this this bedroom where he kind of just like had guests or chill. I thought nothing of it. I walked in being nosy, and that's what my ass get. Oh, whatever he comes after this is your fault. Porn magazines, stack. Porn. Uh, porn. Oh, porn magazine. Thought he had corn. I'm like, he's a farmer. Porn magazines, just stack. Magazines. Ma that's how old. He is. <laughs> Four magazines, just stack. Okay. So, I, I left out of that room. I was like, oh, okay. Oh, oh. I mean, and they were a lot. So, it's like, have you been collecting this shit since the 30s? Like, what the fuck is this? The 30s used to be a celebrity and is an actor. Bill Cosby? I don't know. I mean... Right. <laughs> porn. Old. Right. 30s. Used to be... Right. Maybe he's not that damn old. No, no. Oh, I thought you were about to say I got him. I'm like, I told you I was good. No, no. <laughs> it wasn't Bill Cosby. <laughs> okay, so porn magazines. Anyway, all right. So I went back to sit on the couch. Then I saw a camera on the table. The camera was on. I was going to turn it off. So I looked through the camera. It's fucking feet. Just. Oh, Why were you going through all this man's stuff? Feet. I bit. I was bored. You went through a fucking camera on the first day. It was date? all white women's feet. It was all white women's feet. I mean, I guess. Because the but, first picture was him. It was just like him standing up. But what did you think good was gonna come from going through somebody's? Camera? It was a digital camera. Yeah, but again, just think about this. What did you, what good did you think was going to happen? Like, you know what? I think I'm going to find out how charitable this person is. You go through somebody's fucking camera? It's like going through somebody's phone. Why? 
Nothing good. I'm just, I'm just wondering. Well, it like, was a camera. All, you keep all the bad shit on your phone. You, I'm thinking, all oh, these are events because we actually met at an event. What year was this? To even have a digital camera. 2013, 2013, 14. I guess I don't remember that year that much, but okay. Oh God. That's bad. That I mean, I don't remember what was, was going like on. This was six years ago. I don't know what the fuck was going on back then. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Anyway, long story short. So, white women's feet. Just all fucking feet. So, I was like, Whoa. Then he's like, uh, do you know where the nearest, uh, he asked me for something. And then I was like, I don't know. My phone, I was going to look it up on my phone. He was in my dream. This guy must be black. He's black. Okay, because I'm like, white women's feet, if he white, what are women's feet he supposed to have? No. He's, okay. He's, he's, he's white. Mm -hmm. Anyway, he asked me something. Anyway, I go to the, I, I, my phone has no reception. I go to the computer, and it's feet fucking porn. Wait, wait, wait a minute. You keep making it seem like you got to all these things like. It was. It was all a, it was all a going You me. went over somebody's house. You went through something to find their porn. You went through their. No, I didn't. It, you went look, through their you digital go, camera, and then you went on their computer and went through their browser history. No, and not you browser. Spying on this no, person? when you his the screensaver was up. I went to look for directions because my phone wasn't getting reception. And as soon as I touched you just the mouse, went on somebody's computer. I touched the mouse, and the porn was right there in my face. This sounds like a fucking script, man. No, <laughs> it wasn't. Like this is not a script. I promise. That's what happened. That's what happened. So I was like, Is this the date or the precursor to the date? Th I call that shit a date because I was like, Ah, I okay. gotta go. I said I realized I forgot. Look. And this is why it's crazy. Because I was like, oh, I realized I forgot something. And I left. And he was calling and calling and calling and calling. And I never answered. Do you know the day after that, this motherfucker came over my house beating on my door? How do you know where you live? Because we had gone out one time before. And you didn't notice it, all of this feet porn stuff? No, because we had met out. We like just met somewhere, we chilled. And I was like, yeah. I mean, I was bored, I didn't have shit to do, so I was like, whatever. Man, it must be so nice being a girl. I was bored, I ain't had shit to do. I went out with a celebrity. <laughs> what? Yeah, I was bored, I was just at the house chilling, so I went out with Meg the Stallion, you know, just something to do. Uh, 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 well, it, it wasn't of that caliber. This was, yeah. It, you said he was well to do, I mean, he must have been he that was, caliber at, the time, at some point he had, in life. Like, he had like a lot of shit. His show was like, yeah, he was good. Okay, show. So we've whittled it down. Now I can. Now I know I can guess. Black dude show was celebrity. 2013 was. No, but did. Oh God! What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, I said was. Is still a celebrity, right. so no. Did. Try to talk to me at Lennox Mall. Well, he tried to talk to me. He tried to fuck me at Lennox Mall. I was about Jesus seventeen. Christ. I was about seventeen. But don't put this on. Don't okay, whatever. <laughs> Cause he would probably get in trouble. But I was little as fuck. I was really. Well, you still look than, illegal. Exactly. I was exactly. I was way smaller than this. So imagine. And he was like, I'm at the Four Seasons in Atlanta. He was like, Did you say, Hey, I'm seventeen? No. Why were you in Atlanta? Cause I mean I'm from Birmingham. I, my stomach, I, I live in Marietta. How far is Atlanta from Birmingham? Birmingham, two Alabama. Hours. Yeah, two hours. And you're just in Atlanta hanging out. Yeah. Wait, what's the distinguishment? I don't know if that's a word or not. What is the distinguishing factor? Distinction. There it is. What's the <laughs> say it again? Distinction. What's the distinction between trying to fuck you and trying to talk to you? How did you know all of that from the jump? Because he invited me to a hotel. He didn't invite me out to dinner. There's dinner at hotels? You think hotels ain't got restaurants? He said come to my room. Not not come room to the service. restaurant. Uh, room service. And then fuck. Either way. <laughs> Seventeen is legal Either down way. there. No, the fuck. What? What? I thought down there. Down there. I thought down south, like the legal age was like something crazy, like 15 or something. No, the fucking. You mean the consenting age to have sex? For a yeah. mother to have sex or be pregnant? To, I thought the consenting age. You are not age, legal. You are not legal until 
you are 18. Yeah, but you legal to have sex with it like 16 down there, right? Maybe. I think I think they did change it. See what I'm saying? Down South was a crazy place. I think they changed it. But that, that's because everybody fucks. It wouldn't but me. you shouldn't be fucking adults. You shouldn't be fucking period. Mentally, you do not have the same capacity. Niggas have tricked me out of pussy. What are you talking about? Older guys and older guy just one. Just one time. Because I learned that lesson. What do you mean tricked you? Did he put like a fucking bag under a box with a no. stick? No. And no. then like waited till you got in there and fucking slammed no. the shut? the mental game, he made me feel like it was something that it wasn't. And... I was gone. I foolishly just like went in blind and I paid attention to none of the fucking signs that he was like gaming my ass. And had I known what I know now, he wouldn't have been able to say the same shit and do the same, some of the same things he did. Like, like what, what do you mean? I mean, just the game he ran. Give me an example. I don't want to hear what actually happened. Jesus Christ. Yeah. You know, every time I have girls on this show, something happened that made me want to cry afterwards. Guys, come on. We talk about football and fucking. And girls be like, and then he cut my pinky toe off. <laughs> what the fuck? Why is your life so crazy? My life is not. Well, Nobody ever tricked me out of no dick. It would have been sure funny. I'm sure they don't have to. <laughs> It'd be funny if that happened. I'm sure they don't have to, though. But how? Okay, he did what? He played games, like, well, which I mean, one is the not dick in, and no, you picked the wrong no, one, no, and he switched no, no, on you? No, 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 He, okay, so, first of all, he treated me well. Like, you know, lured me in. He sucked me in. I was like, oh, okay. He treated liked. you nice. Okay, that's part he, one of the trick. Okay, so he said, yeah, this is nice. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we like started talking. He started being sensitive, listening to me, listening to my problems, acting like, "Oh, I'll, you know, I'll be there for you. I'll, I'll like, I'll like take care of you. I would never do anything like that." We had sex, and <clears throat> he stopped talking to me. You better not fucking cry in here. What? I'm, what do you mean, why? I'm not going to cry. Oh, okay. <laughs> Clear your throat there. Because if you cry, then I'm going to cry. I'd be don't cry. I'm not going to cry. Don't air, <laughs> wait, wait. Don't air this part. Don't okay, air. whatever. Don't air this part. I only need 10 minutes. We've been talking for 20. So oh, I'm, I'm well past what Good, I need. I can't. I can't. Anyway, <laughs> long story short, he stopped. <clears throat> he stopped, stopped talking to you. That, that's calling that's calling abnormal? You. Uh, yeah. Who does that? I, th I thought a lot of guys did that. I've never done it. Not because I'm a good guy. I just, I just never done it. Just happened to not yeah, do that's, it. That's not normal. If, if, if a guy if, fucks him, a girl could fuck somebody and just not call, right? Yeah, but if you express or make someone feel like or say, like, hey, I have feelings for you. And naturally, that's... He just lied. Yeah. Is he, there a difference between a guy lying to you and tricking you? But that's manipulation. Yes, but don't guys lie all the time? Yeah, they do. But then, yeah, yeah, they do, and that's a part of learning like valuable lessons. That's a part of like being a child and having and being young and those things that mentally come with. Oh, this nigga really likes me, and and you can see when you once you get. Yeah, but older, nobody likes you. Me? Nobody. Nobody likes nobody. Nobody's just like I like you. Right. People just want whatever they want. You either got that's like not, some that's not fucking true. cold water and they want to sip. You got some big ass oh, titties. that's not true because I like some somebody right now. And big I heavy like, balls. Whatever actually, it is they want. I actually like somebody and they like me, babe. And it's been so long. I guess. Who is it? Chris Brown? Oh, no. Do you have a Chris Brown story too? Oh, no. Oh, I okay. Don't. I don't. <laughs> You see, like I'm some kind of celebrity groupie. I didn't some say groupie. Celebrity. It's just I mentioned somebody. You like no, but let me tell you, it's like I, I don't know. I, you... you know what? I, I do know. Like I have been in some like. I'm but not. that's just. I think that's just a pretty girl thing. Like pretty girls get the opportunity to be around like, you know, fucking celebrities. Oh. Well, I don't consider myself that. I consider myself to be all right. What do you mean all right? What does that mean? You don't consider yourself to be what? 
one of the pretty girls. Oh me. my God! What is wrong with you people? Why don't you? Why don't girls just 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 go? I'm pretty. That's it. If somebody says it, then that's it. I don't deny being black. I don't think nothing about it. I'm just black. That's a fact. I'm not the first person to refer to you as a pretty girl. I'm certain. Why would you? Why would you say that you don't refer to yourself as that? Uh, it's just what it is. Um. Just well, I, I do have. It. I do have issues. I, I definitely have issues when it comes as, when it comes to that. However, we live in LA. I see some gorgeous bitches, and I'm like, goodness. Yeah, but see, this is this is what I think. There's popsicles, and then there's like gourmet cheesecake they both desserts you gonna take either it's just what you in the mood for there's beyonce and meg the stallion who's who's prettier you know what i'm saying they both fine motherfuckers it's all about what you into when you're in, who's better holly berry or rihanna you know, what day is it that's how i can tell you <laughs> who's better it's like it depends on how i feel so that's a don't, very interesting uh concept i haven't heard yeah, just like when, like, oh, I've seen some girl. Well, she's that gorgeous. She's Friday gorgeous, and she's Tuesday gorgeous, and there's different. But yeah, man, you're pretty. That's it. Who cares? Oh, thank you. That is just... But yeah, I think pretty girls just get to be around celebrities often. No, and y'all, that's how y'all get those stories. I don't think you're a fucking groupie or nothing like that. It's just you get to be around. I have you know? the dumbest luck, though. No, you're just pretty. I mean, you can call that luck. It's like, uh, no, 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 no. I'd be like, I'll meet. And you're a girl. You don't have to be pretty. If you're a girl, people tolerate your presence more. If you're pretty, if you're a pretty girl, people enjoy your presence. If you're a girl, they tolerate it. If you're pretty, they want it. If you're a guy, it's like, what the fuck are you here for? What are you contributing? Why is your presence here? When I'm places, and I'm supposed to be most places I'm at. <laughs> It's not often I'm a place and I'm just there. I'm supposed to be here. And people are like, what you here for? It's like, my face is on the flyer. <laughs> Look at your shirt. This is my face on your yeah. shirt. What do you mean, why am I here? No, fam. No. <laughs> what the fuck you mean, no? If I leave, this night's over. <laughs> the reason everybody's here is because me. What do you mean, what am I doing here? No, fam, you got to go to the back. To the back? Let me make a call. To who, nigga? You gonna call my... Anyway, people, you know, they don't want guys there. But when you're pretty and you're a girl... Oh, yeah. Listen. Oh, get me <laughs> what the fuck is that? This is... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they rub on you and stuff. Oh, like a fucking shit. dog. Oh, man. People like that. That's crazy. That's crazy. I don't know. Cole from Martin. Uh, <laughs> no, but he did try his eyes. Oh boy. I think I got his number. Do you think that that's normal? Yeah, he probably tried to talk to a lot of bitches. Nobody ever tried to talk to me. Yes, they do. Boy, oh, see, you talk mad shit about women. Like, I be looking at y'all because, like, the comics I know, like, the people the people that I, I like, care about and, and, and don't care about, like, sexually or anything like that. Oh, God. Like, I look at you as a very good friend. I be like, who is fucking that nigga? And then, like, I mean, and not just you, all y'all. Sure. As an entirety. Mm hmm And then y'all be having the baddest chicks. Only because you're funny. Chicks see y'all on stage, and they take their... I have heard girls the way... I think I'm, I think I'm triggered. I think I'm offended. No. Yeah, I'm, I'm triggered. It's true. I'm triggered. It's true. It's true, and I pro I'm pretty You're sure. You're gonna write about this. I'm pretty sure, huh? I'm gonna write about this. I'm pretty sure you are one of the ones that, just based on being stage and being hilarious long, I'm pretty sure you get a lot of pussy. You put your mean. face on your pits? No. Uh, just cause how? How would I? How would I even get that? Oh, your face on nudes? How would I get my dick? I only got one nude part. Everything else, nobody wants. In the mirror. A full body dick pic? Like, yeah, you know that everybody's doing that. Stupid. Cause I could you could zoom in. No, I put my shit up on a tripod. And then I get You angles. put your dick And I put filters on my shit. Sometimes I'll take you my put balls. Your filter on you? yeah, I'll take my balls and pop them through the drawers <laughs> so it looked like I got like Rod. just a, a, a dick piece on. Rod. Yeah. 
Makes Shut them, the fuck up. Makes it look great. Shave all the hair off and it'll just be cock and balls. I have my drawers. <laughs> cock my, and balls? Is choke my choke my balls. Girls like when you make your dick jump. Do the dick jump. What girl likes boxes. when you make your dick jump? All of them. All of them. You don't like dick jumpy pics? No. You yeah, rather the not, dick just stay there and stagnant? This, or you want a little movement with the at dick? This, at this point, first of all, that's not a picture. That's a video. A video. You get the fucking that's point. Sometimes I boomerang it. That shit does not do it for me. <laughs> My dick boomerang sometimes. Right. You never boom. You never. Right. Like, <laughs> Wait, what? What is it doing again? You boomerang. No, don't do dick pics no more. Right. Dick boomerangs. Right. Yeah. See, you be fucking with them old niggas. That's why you ain't never got a dick boomerang. Dude, I don't want no dick. That don't do it for me. I, I've, I've grown to enjoy taking them just because I think it's, it's, it's fun and funny. Because I'm not just going to take a dick pic. Because if my shit get out, it's got to be funny. I'll make my balls, I'll put eyeballs on them. So my whole package looked like a proboscis <sighs> monkey face. Can we be done? <laughs> I make my dick like a proboscis monkey. You ever seen a proboscis monkey? They got the big nose. Rod, shut the fuck up. What are That's you? how my dick look when I put the filter on it. <coughs> See, you ain't living, man. You ain't lived. You don't know shit. All right, we'll wrap with this. What was your best date experience? Ooh, I had a couple. Um, you had a couple best? Just going out of the country. Yeah. You doing what? I mean, shit, doing, like, boat rides and, like, um, you know, touristy Man, shit. it must be so nice to be a girl. People just take you on boat rides? Yeah, I love that. Nobody ever took me what on a boat. What a best experience could be. My daddy took me on a boat. <laughs> See, you mm. had a daddy. <laughs> Is that the trade-off? <laughs> yeah, you had a daddy. I guess so. Look, my daddy calling right now. He must have heard me talking. I'll answer uh, this. Let's answer. Let's answer. Hello? What's going on, like, man? Daddy, what's the deal? Like, the yeah, I'm literally in the middle of shooting my van show right now. I have a young lady on. She's a comedian, and we're literally rolling right now. So I'm talking to you on camera. I hear you. Yeah, Miss Keita said hello, but uh, but yeah, I'm I'm doing this. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm I'm doing this. I'm just about. To, I literally just said something about you. Uh, she was telling me about how some <laughs> rich person took her out on a boat, and I was like, nobody took me on a boat, and I was like, oh, I guess my daddy took me on a boat, and then you called. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I hit you up uh, after after I'm done. Okay, congratulations on all you do, man. You're a wonderful guy. You my man. Well, thank you, thank you, appreciate it. I will hit you up, and talk to you later. Talk to you, brother. I'll write it. Yep. All right. Aww. Yeah, about these bitches. No. <laughs> daddy. What? What do you mean? Where's your daddy at? Anyway. Oh, God, leave. You can borrow mine. He love you. Man, you know how stand up for a man to call his son is? How I think you? I take that for granted. Yeah, you take that for granted because you ha you've had that. And mm. it's been constant. Mm. It's not always cracked up to be. If my daddy wasn't around, I'd probably be a famous rapper by now. Probably would have went to the NBA. God. I draw. Draw. It's a southern draw. It's, 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 I guess it's cute on girls. I don't, know, I don't really hear it, so I don't know what it is. It just sounds fat. Fat? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm fat now? You sound fat. You got a fat girl voice. I got a fat girl voice? Yeah, you got a fat girl voice. What's a fat girl voice? Boy, I'm sure I'm going to go get me something. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it sounds to me. That's how it's entering my ears. <laughs> you sound fat, and I am. It's okay. You got fat girl voice. It's okay. Fat girl voice. See, now I'm about to, I'm about to flip it. I'm about to get super woke on you. Watch this. Wait, 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 wait. Let me hold on. Let's so we can so you can cut that in right. I'm gonna flip it on you. See, I say you got a fat girl voice. What's wrong with that? Says who? Having a fat girl voice is bad. I don't. I know. I, uh, I don't know what uh, fat. Uh, I don't know 
know what a fat girl voice is. You know what a cow sound like, and you know what a donkey sound like. Them two different sounds. There's a not fat girl and a fat girl. No, you got that's a fat not girl true, voice. Because I have girls that are on the plus size, and they just don't sound different to me. So I'm trying to figure out what's a fat girl voice. A girl who sounds like they have a lot of fat on their body. You know this shit? Fat. They got a lot of it. Well, and that's, that's how you sound. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. Why is it fucked up? What's wrong with that? A, huh? A, a, huh? A, huh? A, See? Yeah. All lives matter or something I, fucking conscious right here. I'm not fat though. So? You sound it. Okay. You're not a kid. You look like one. You're making me conceit to this. I know. I've been working on it. <laughs> yeah, I'm working on it. See, it's flip cancel culture. This is how you flip cancel culture. You say something messed up, right? And then when they say, why would you say that? And then you go, well, who says that's bad? That's all you gotta do to flip cancel culture. So, okay, I said you had a fat girl voice. This lady who's playing Harriet got a slave voice. And they might say, what is slave voice? She always sounds tired. But that's the problem. This is a movie about her whole life. There's no way she was tired, winded all the time. I mean, everybody else talking normal. Hey, how's it going here? <sighs> I'm not gonna let you <sighs> take me back to every scene you winded? Is this the Usain Bolt story? Take a break. Somebody get this bitch some Gatorade. Usain Bolt. You can't be tired every scene of an entire movie about somebody's whole you don't wake up <sighs> well again the I'm gonna go the make me some breakfast what at breakfast yeah you just woke up and you already panting I'm not going to see well, that shit and none of the other slaves was panting that's the <laughs> thing they all went there and they like say bitch uh, maybe you got asthma you ever think about that <laughs> sleep apnea <sighs> these arms gonna be free why oh, it's gonna die? <laughs> Why is that your interpretation? Take a that ain't no interpret. Watch the trailer of Harriet. No, I, I, I she I, is. Everybody else, come on back here, Harriet. <laughs> anyway, we can go on and on about that. I have thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this. Oh well, yeah, I thank you for coming out. Favorite people. I appreciate. Let me turn coming. this shit off. Just one of my favorites. Just one of the most talented. Oh, versatile wow, people. You. I can't I wait. I can't wait to see what what we do and where you go. This has been wonderful. Um, a lot of stuff has been cut out of this episode, and I'm sorry that I had to bleep out names and <laughs> stuff like that. You made that, but you made the wonderful yaki men do. And I'm sorry that this inverter is making noise, but you know, uh, I haven't really figured a, a way to get around that. Watches. That's all right. Your family will soon know that you fucked Morgan Freeman. Oh. It's okay. Oh. Keith will fuck LeVar Barton. <laughs> the Reading Rainbow Man? You fucked Reading Rainbow. That's all right. Did you fuck Kadeem Hardison? Oh, no. Uh, what was his name? Dwayne Wayne. No, I did not fuck Kadeem Hardison. What about Ron from uh, nope, Living Single? Why do I keep Ron mixing that? Different world, yeah. No, but I met him. Jaleel White. Ew, no. Ew? Why ew? No. Eddie Winslow. No, but I know him. <laughs> Darius McQuarrie. Cool. Cool as shit. I guess, man. <laughs> All righty, just... good people. Just... This has been Monopoly. This has been another episode of Band Cook Nails. This has been this has been the best episode I've shot so far. You're a great guest. Thanks for coming on. Hey man, thanks for having me, Ryan. Yeah, no right, problem. Get the fuck out of here. You and I'm not gonna tell nobody that you fucked Ronaldo Ray. <laughs> <laughs>